guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have the letter C in our A to Z build challenge. And I'm actually using a build that I did, I want to say like two months ago, but I decided to not upload it at the time because I was still learning how to record. And I guess I recorded it the wrong way because you can see the black on either side of the screen but I felt like I really liked this build so I didn't want to not share it so you'll have to forgive the quality um, of the video but um, I don't know if you could tell in the beginning we started out on factory one the lot where uh, all those party people are in Windenburg like Marcus Flex and all them so it's a 30 by 20 lot and at the end of this, it was worth about 133,000 simoleons. So basically what I decided to do with this was obviously it's a renovated church. Um, and it's supposed to be like a bachelor pad. Um, and my idea was that he had done the reno himself. Uh, and, you know, some of the stuff from the church was still remaining, like downstairs I left the organ and a couple other instruments and then oh uh the podium well it, it kind of looks like a podium <laughs> uh and then he put in some other stuff. I, I put in like a gym almost um on the upper part of the I don't know what you would call it like the you know how they have like separate areas you can sit like above in in the church <laughs> Like, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to describe that because I don't know what to call it. So, um, yeah, it's there's some work up, out stuff. Up there. Actually, it ends up kind of looking like those indoor tracks that go, like, above a gym, like, uh, on top of it. <laughs> I'm doing a real bang-up job on this voiceover. Thank you so much for continuing to listen. <laughs> uh, so, I yeah, like I said, I put the fitness stuff up there because I was thinking he was into fitness. Um, I really didn't have that much more of a backstory for this one because I was really just starting um, building and doing the YouTube. This might have been my, my second build, I want to say, for the channel. So I really was just kind of getting started. You'll see, like, I think I probably could have done some more clutter uh, maybe a few more decorations here and there, but it's something I learned like as I was going. So anyway, we are working on the downstairs. Uh, I wanted to keep the front part separate to look like, you know, that's how uh, it was when it was a church, like with little half walls. And you can see what I'm talking about up here with the upstairs area. So it's kind of like a loft. Um, his bedroom is not actually closed off in any way. Uh, from the downstairs or what have you. I mean, I did make him a bathroom. There's actually two bathrooms. So I think I mentioned this in another video that when I do lofts, I tend to make two bathrooms, even though it kind of doesn't make sense because there's more bathrooms than bedrooms. But I like having bathrooms on each floor. So because I've definitely been in a situation where my bedroom wasn't on the same floor as a bathroom, and that's super annoying. <laughs> So um, that's that's just my own personal design style, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm building the bathroom right now, actually, for the master, quote unquote. And it actually created a cool little feature wall for the bed there. So I was able to use that, and I thought that was unique. I wanted to keep the inside mostly stone. I think it's stone everywhere except for a few feature walls like where the bed is that's a feature wall and I think the interior walls that I built for the bathrooms have a different kind of wallpaper because they weren't obviously part of the original structure and they're on the outside so they wouldn't be stone I struggled a little bit with this kitchen because I wanted it to look like it had been renovated but I also wanted it to remain true to the kind of like gothic nature of the church um, you'll see when I start furnishing like the living room and like dining room area, I tried to keep a lot of items that you would actually like see in the church, um, like the chairs and the couch and there's several benches. I don't know if I already put the benches in the front of the church, like outside, 
but I know there's like a couple chairs that go in the corner. Uh, the little, no, they're not cor- it's not a corner, it's a little like hexagonal type space. Um, which, you know, I just noticed at the back, <laughs> they're like squares. And in the front I did the hexagons. So, oh no, I didn't. Oh, I changed it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did this build so long ago that I can't even remember. Oh, I did the hexagonal type. No, I didn't. I even deleted those. Oh, that was the other thing. I cut out a lot of like the exterior building and roofing for this because it took me a very long time to figure it out. So that's why I even still thought that I <laughs> had the hexagons uh, outside. It just didn't. It just didn't work. I think I only have the one like hexagonal or or maybe it's even a cone shaped roof. I mean, you'll see it then. <laughs> This is probably my worst voiceover ever, but we're getting through it. Um, Currently, uh, it took this video. This video, for some reason, I was having lots of editing issues, even with like my logo screen, Um, which I am actually, I guess you'll hear it here first. I'm considering um, using like, one of the graphic designers on like Fiverr or something to come up with a new logo for me. I uh, have been talking to some people about something new I might want to try. And I think, I mean, that was suggested to me that um, the name is good, but I, I do need to improve the logo. And I mean, obviously, I don't take any offense to that. I threw it together very quickly when I started the channel. So definitely not, you know, surprised that I got that constructive criticism and I am interested in changing it. Um, if you all, anybody that's listening, if you're aware of somebody that does it like pretty affordable, (laughs) I mean, I can't really, you know, I'm not making any money off of this, so I can't really afford to pay much, but I did hear that there are some like super cheap ones you can get. I don't know about the quality though. So you're going to have to help me out there. Just send me a DM uh, on Twitter or Facebook, wherever you found this video um, or wherever. (laughs) If you know of anybody, so that'd be cool. So yeah, like I said, um, downstairs, there's the organ. Uh, Now the, the decor is finally starting to come together. I think the candles added a lot to that. I don't know why there was a temporary lag there. That was weird. Um, I think because maybe I cut something too fast or or didn't, rather. I made kind of like a little wardrobe area over here. I didn't want to make an enclosed closet because, like I said, the rest of it is all locked. So I didn't feel like that would be appropriate for there. Plus, it would make the room feel more closed off if I did that. I actually don't end up keeping the red bed. I just felt like it's it's just a little too much. I mean, we have the red decor downstairs, um, but that, that bed, it's just like so bold. And I wanted it to look gothic, but I didn't want it to look vampiric. Vampiric? Um, it's late. I can't remember how to pronounce things. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to go overboard with the red. I think I might've changed a few other things, colors also after the fact. Um, I wanted, if anything, I wanted it to be more burgundy than red. Um, I thought that the barrel clutter was a cute addition and the little treasure chest, just so I'm adding clutter now. Yeah, that's the little podium thing I was talking about. Obviously it's not real podium, more like a music stand kind of, but that could be, you know, for the choir that used to sing there. So oh, <laughs> I was trying to see if I could put any of those like stage sets from Get Famous in there, but they're all just massive. <laughs> and uh, the one with the throne, I guess you would call it, isn't, wasn't really appropriate for this. But I liked the idea of having like some steps up to the um, pulpit area. I think that's what you call it. Um So that's why I was looking at the set because you can't do like a different level inside. So anyway, um, I got the idea, I think uh, halfway through 
to do this, uh, like skylights in the roof. Um, I feel like, I mean, obviously churches would normally have like stained glass on the windows. Um, but I felt like, you know, maybe he added the skylights in, especially cause it's a loft. So the light is going to come all the way through down to the first floor even. So I cut this out too, because most of it, because it took me a long time and you don't need to see me doing both sides, right? Same thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just back to adding plants. Um, I, I do try to use plants, even though I don't actually have any in my house in real life. We have plants outside on the patio, but um, I feel like my daughter would destroy any plants that I put in the house. Because <laughs> we don't have like elevated spaces, at least right now, to put them on. So, um, but it's so funny. Actually, last week I went to a birthday party at... It was at like the grandmother's house of the child and I, you know, I don't know the grandparents, but their house was, <laughs> it reminded me of something that I would design in the Sims. Like there were actually like large, you know, f well, they're probably fake plants like in the corners of the rooms and these very, there was this one very big vase and <laughs> in trying to prevent my daughter from knocking it over, I almost knocked it over. <laughs> So, like, good going, Laura. <laughs> but you know what else is crazy about that party? They got, I'm sorry, I'm getting way off topic, but you're going to think this is funny. Um, they had one of those power wheel Jeeps for him, even though he's one. <laughs> and they were driving that thing in the house with the plants and the big vase and, like, breakable clutter on their shelves. And I was just floored. <laughs> I was floored when they floored it. Get it? <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to add uh, those little, like, gargoyle things on the outside, but it just lo looked like too much. I'm trying to get back to the video now. <laughs> I mean, I hope that by now you guys kind of get my personality, so you don't really mind me going off on a tangent a lot, but that was a really big one, so I apologize. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're just still working on, well, now we're doing the art, I guess. Again, I, I could have put more, I feel like. Um, I did put a good bit, but there were, like, when I was, because for some reason I didn't do screenshots, um, I guess because I saw the video quality in the beginning and decided not to. Um, so I had to go back and do screenshots now, and, oh my god, the MCCC, MCCC mod had moved a couple in there, and they had triplets. <laughs> triplet babies, so I had to, like, kick everybody out to do screenshots. But anyway, while I was doing them, I felt like I found a couple areas where some kind of art might have looked good, like maybe over the TV or something. Um, but I think I had considered that before over the TV, and I decided against it. Um, maybe it just looked like too much. I didn't see him, you know, him living here to be like an art aficionado, but maybe he just kept a bunch of the stuff that was already in the church. Um so yeah, I think uh, especially with the candle there and the the violin, even though it's not red, it looks red in that picture. The red bed is just too much. Oh, I changed. <laughs> I forgot I changed the candle out to those little like antique books. Um, and I just did a little bit of furnishing on the patio here. I made everything black. I was over the red by this point. <laughs> We're actually coming up on the end of the video, though, so thank you so much for actually staying and watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing so that you can catch more videos like this. We're going to be doing the D-Build next, so I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.